with T quilts if any of you have been subscribed to me long enough you know that I am having difficulties with irons I really love the Rowenta brand iron but I tend to burn those irons out with six months of use so I am trying to find irons that are $50 or less that will do the job and I think I have one and I'll show it to you in just a minute the main thing about an iron that I'm looking for is an iron that's hot, that can handle a lot of steam, because I do steam press. I do not iron, I actually press, so I don't have to worry about distortion if I'm using steam. And I want it to be a good solid weight. I don't want an iron that's too light, and I feel that the Panasonic iron, it gets hot, but it's not heavy enough to actually press anything into the fibers. So I had a friend last year for my birthday which was July 28th 2016 gave me a T-fail iron and I really love this iron except that my husband knocked it off of my ironing board not once but twice and so I just want to talk to you about this iron so I just want to first show you the iron that I had gotten from my friend a year ago so here is the actual iron that I received from my friend. It's a T-Fal Ultra Glide Easy Cord 4446 iron. And this iron has 1700 watts, which is one of your highest number of watts in irons today. And I really love this iron. It's not too heavy, but when I put it down, it's got enough weight that the fabric can get pressed very well. It also has a water spray button and a steam button in four different in three different settings. So you can have no steam, a steam of one, two, or three. Now, this iron, in my opinion, puts out a lot of steam. You actually add the water here, and it has a pretty big tank so that you can put the water in. My only default with this iron is the fill line, and I actually have some water in here now, and I'm not sure if it's showing up, but the water line is down here. The fill line is right here, and I'm not sure if you can see that. The thing is, is that it's the same color as the iron body, and so it's very difficult to see when you're at the field line or where the water level is in the iron. The iron stands on its back, has a cord that can go in and out of the area, so you don't have to worry about the cord being in the way. Fits in there nice and snug, sits on the iron, and then it also has a cord lock so when you put your iron up you can actually lock the cord around itself and it won't unravel on you now the reason why I, I am late doing this iron review it was one of my subscribers was asking me about an iron I would refer to her and I just didn't have time to get this recorded but and because I was working with the t-shirt quilts and I've been using the old iron and I have not cleaned it so I will leave this iron dirty so I can show you how I actually clean my irons but I didn't want to break out the new iron that I purchased because my husband has dropped that iron a couple of times knocking it off the ironing board and it has started to leak even though the iron leaks it leaks clear water so I'm still able to use it and it doesn't do it all the time so my items are not drenched in moisture so I actually purchased a new iron because my friend purchased the old iron for me and she actually got it at Dillard's and she worked for Dillard's and got it at a great price I however went on amazon.com and purchased my iron I will add the price of this iron across the video because I've had this a little while so I'm going to go check and see what the current price is today and then I will add that on the screen for you so, so again this is the T-Fal 
Ultra Glide Easy Card 4446 iron and it's 1700 watts. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing. And like I said, this isn't a fancy iron or anything, but I love this iron. I use it more than I do my Panasonic iron. I actually use my Panasonic iron when I'm traveling or giving classes because I can bring it home with the heat still being on the iron sole plate. I don't have to wait for the iron to cool off. So first, let's do what's included. Of course, we've got the iron, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And then you've got your product registration, and then you've got instructions on how to use the iron. And so I've already talked about all the various things except for you just turn the dial here to cut the iron onto whatever level you want. I tend to leave mine on linen cotton, except that when I'm doing the t-shirt quilts, I leave it at the lowest level that will use steam. The sole plate on here, I just want to give you a close-up of that. It says it's the Ultra Gliss Ultra Glide Diffusion. So it has a lot of steam holes in the in the instruction booklet, they show you how you can just go straight to the tap water and put it into the iron. I love that it doesn't have one of those little plastic cups because it's just a waste of money and it's more plastic that's inside of our landfills. We hardly ever use those little bitty things. I tend to use a recycle a big plastic bottle like bottled water. I'll get a larger size bottle water and then I will recycle that bottle for water to pour into my urn. And so like I said, we've already gone over these steps so I'm not going to go back into that. That's it for this review. Again, it's a very pretty iron. My only negative thought about this iron is that the water level, you can barely see the water level in the iron and then the marker itself is also the same color as the iron base. So. That's my only downfall with this iron. As far as using it, usability, reliability, I love this iron. And as you can see, I have repurchased it from receiving it as a gift. So that's it for now. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.